Hello YouTube, this is iDevice Programming here. Um, today I decided I was going to do a mini tutorial. This is actually my first video here on YouTube. Um, I've had other accounts, but this is my first video for this account. Um, basically today I'm just going to give you a quick little tip on how to build things from scratch and why you probably should when you're first starting out. So basically, let's open up Xcode. I'm going to assume that you have it installed and you pretty much know what to do, how everything works. Um, at a basic level, of course. So what I usually do is instead of choosing view-based application, utility, tab bar, those do save time, but when you're first learning, they they kind of they, they'll end up getting in the way pretty much. So you want to start off with a window-based application for now. So let's name it YouTube Tutorial. You guys can name it whatever you want, of course. All right, so. To start, um, I'm going to teach you how to just get a UI view controller um, displaying in the window. So the first thing I'm going to do is hit uh, right click, new file, or uh, file, new file, um, and click on UI view controller subclass. Make sure you check this little toggle um, with XIB for user interface because we're going to need that. Put next and name it whatever you want. I'm going to say main view controller. I like keeping mine uh, capitalized for each letter. It's just helpful that way. All right, so now um, you're going to take your XIB, drag it over to resources. So before we actually code anything, let's just design a quick little interface so we can tell uh, that it's on the screen and it's not just a white little uh, view controller. So let's make this label, hi YouTube. Uh, by the way, I dragged that from label over here, sorry. Um, and I'm just going to add a text field. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just going to uh, drag these on just to uh, show that there's actually something on the screen. And let's just write something in here. And as a final little touch, we can change the background. Oops. All right, so uh, edit and then save, or file save, sorry. Um, and then you can quit. So then after that, what you want to do is go to your app delegate. Your app delegate is an object that is only has only one instance in the entire uh, running of your application. It I use it as a public variable, like like a place where I store some of my public variables because you can access that from any code anywhere, um, as long as it's Objective C, of course. Um, so what you should do is right in here. You want it import and then your view controller. So the uh, header file for your view controller. If you can't see that, I'll zoom in. So then you want to create an instance of that. So whatever you named it, space star, which is a pointer towards it. Um, I'm not going to explain pointers, but you should just usually use them in this case at least. So main view controller, I'm going to name it MVC for um, for the initials. I know that stands for model view controller, but just forget about that for now. Um, so then after that, you want to add a property because it's just good to add properties. Non-atomic retain. Every YouTube tutorial I see doesn't explain these. Non-atomic just isn't really that important. I mean, like I just usually put it there because that's what most people do, honestly. I've never, I've, I've changed it before and nothing's um, happened. And retain is when you instance this, when you set self.mvc or self.window, um, it retains it, which means that uh, the opposite of retain, well, not the opposite, but something other than retain is called auto-release, and it will release it when the time is right. But retain says, do not auto-release it. I'll release it when I want to. So I usually use that for things that are going to stay there for the entire running of the application. So I do uh, property, non-atomic, retain, IB outlet, and then the object name right there. So once you have that, go to the app delegate. By the way, feel free, feel, feel free to pause at any time during this just so you can catch up. So then I'm going to um, synthesize that object because when you add a property, it needs a matching synthesize um, command to uh, create create like self.window, setters and getters they're called. Um, 
not really that important for this case, but just I usually do it. Just uh, it's good practice. So before um, self dot window make key invisible, you want to say um, self dot window add sub view, and then you want to give it MVC dot view because MVC is a view controller. For people who get this mixed up, view controllers own a single view, um, a UI view it's called. So if you added the view controller, it would give you an error because you're giving it a UI view controller instead of a UI view. So to access it, you do dot view. And as an example, in that in their code, they probably have a synthesized view up here because this is a setter right here, or a getter actually, sorry. Um, all right, so next, uh, you want to hook it up into main window.xiv. I know this is a lot of uh, a lot of like repetition and it's kind of boring to do this, but once you get good at this, honestly, I can whip up a like OpenGL application with just displaying like a square really fast because all from scratch, just because I've done this so many times and I know I know what I'm doing kind of. So now what you want to do is head over to library if you don't have that open uh, tools and then library. Usually it should be open. So drag view controller down underneath window. Uh, this other thing should pop up. Don't worry about window here. That doesn't matter anymore. So then what you need to do is go over to um, new referencing outlet. And this shouldn't work. Look, I'm trying to drag it to app delegate and it's not working. I mean, shouldn't it? Because it's a view controller and that owns a view controller. But what you actually have to do is set the class to whatever you named your view controller class. For, in, for uh, my case, this is main view controller. And now that it knows it's an instance of that class, you can drag it to YouTube Tutorial App Delegate and then set it to MVC. If you're having problems with this, um, I used to ha this ha used to happen to me all the time. You make you need to make sure that in in your uh, definition, I usually don't put IB Outlet here. It's just kind of uh, to save room. You need to make sure you have IB Outlet because otherwise Interface Builder won't know that you're going to end up hooking this up and it, it will completely ignore it. So, um, that should be good for now. I have a feeling I'm missing something, but we'll see once you build and go. Oh, well, it works perfectly fine. So we can type in hello YouTube and hi, click me. So that's just displaying the basic view controller. Um, for those of you who want to get technical with this, um, you can do this completely without Interface Builder. Um, well, not completely without. Basically, what you want to do is instead of um, instead of making Interface Builder um, link everything up and create its own like um, an instance of everything when at, when you load the um, XIB, what you want to do actually is you can do this programmatically. So um, this should all stay the same, and then in here it's only like a two line adding thing. So I want to say self dot mvc here's a big um, important thing I recently I used to use just mvc equals but it turns out that when you access it by self dot mvc it continues this retain parameter it it makes sure that that happens and I was having this weird thing where it was deleting itself and I was getting weird errors because it didn't exist turns out you have to access it by self dot mvc I mean that's just a quick little uh, tip so you want to say self.mvc and then two square brackets, main view controller or whatever you named your thing, alloc, allocate, it just uh, creates the memory for it, and then init with nib name, and the nib name basically is just um, without the xib, that file that you had, it's just the name of that file without the dot xib at the end, so mine is main view controller dot, or main view controller. All right, so and bundle should be no. So then after that, um, that looks to be about right. Oh wait, we have to uh, change the main view, main window. Sorry, I'm gonna have to wrap this up soon because I'm almost at the ten minute mark. All right, so you wanna x that out because we don't want that there any. Oop, we don't want that there anymore, and we also want to get rid of the uh, main view controller because that shouldn't exist. So when you build and go, uh, it should work exactly the same, except for this little space. I accidentally uh, realized that the status bar is there, but 
basically that's how you add um, view controllers from scratch and with interface builder. I'll go into more detail um, in the next few tutorials, differences between uh, view controllers and views and how to do this all from scratch. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this. If you can uh, rate and comment, like and subscribe, that would be very nice. So see you next time.